Maybe I'm just a kid in love. Maybe I'm just a kid in love. Oh, baby, first fall in love. This is a video lesson for Kid in Love by Sean Mendes. So, I know quite a lot of Sean Mendes fans are watching the videos. Uh, hey guys, hope you're keeping well. This was a tutorial request in the community section on my Facebook page. Oh no, my YouTube page. Sorry, I'm getting all these communities mixed up. So, what's happening is, if you have any tutorial requests, post them below and in any other videos. And what I do is I pick five and the one with the top votes gets it uh, each week. So, off to Iceland this week, but happy to get this one in before I go. So, let's take a look. Now, what I'm going to begin with is the following. I'm going to begin with the picking we hear from the start. There's piano, there's piano and guitar going on at times, and it really does lend itself to mix things up at times. So, I've kept it as simple as possible while still doing everything fully accurately. So... And um, by the way, I will have this written out in a tab, which you can download below in the video description. And also, I am working off an Ultimate Guitar song sheet. That is correct. I repeat, it is a correct Ultimate Guitar song sheet. Uh, it's just handy for any out there. I know some of you like to sing and play Sean Mendes songs, so I think you'd find that useful. So, here we go. So we've ring finger on the third fret of E. Index finger on the second fret of D. So we get this, we get. Then we get third fret on B. And we hit that again. So we go, that's D and E together. B then, then E again. Then I go into a D chord and I hit the D string, E string, and B string. So I get. Now, at this stage, on the tab, it would be written like to go like this. You hit a C chord with A string, G, B, and E. Then B string, third fret with your pinky here. Index still on. Okay, so we get. And then I put on ring finger on third fret of E. Then G string, and then B string. So, so all together we get this. And I do a slight rake on that C at times. So by rake I mean I go thumb, index, middle, ring on this hand. Best way to build that up is just do it over and over slowly. And it's cool to pull. So we get that. Right, now that is one of them. Then I go up high as well. Now this one I'm gonna play straight through with and the tab will cover the implementation of it. I'm just aware that some of you may be looking for, uh, the, these are the same notes by the way. Just the tone is a bit nice up here too. It's good to have both options. So I'll breeze through this one. This is, Seven on A, seven on G, eight on B, and it's all in the tab too. Then I get index five on A, ring is seven on G, pinky is seven on B. Same rhythms. Then we move that shape down two frets and we hit A and B again. Then that's three on B, I'm barren with that index. Watch the way it'll lock down here. Then five on G. And finally, I get four on G, five on D, three on E. So. Very similar as you can see. Now, let's call these chord names because they actually are chord names. So we have E minor. Then this is D, this is C, and G. And that's what he does in the verses he's singing. Now, I do not have the singing and playing of this one off at all, so I won't even uh, butcher this video by trying to do it. But it'll be like... Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, 
that sort of vibe. All right, then. And a loop. Now, we're about to go into the chorus then. So anytime you see E minor written in the ultimate guitar, you'll play that. Anytime you see D and so on. Likewise with this, this will be your E minor. This will be your D, of course. This will be your C, this will be your G. So that's a bit more straightforward. Now, just reaching for my pick. Now, the chorus, I have to admit the chorus is so catchy. Well, it's all catchy. Um, thanks for the tutorial request votes because I'm really getting my eyes opened here to Sean Mendes' songs. Of course, I've, I'm very familiar with his latest album and some of the other ones I've taught, like Lost in Japan. But this is cool. A bit of a John Mayer feel to it. Um, love John Mayer as well for anybody who doesn't listen to him yet. So, chorus I played first, it goes, Maybe I'm just a kid in love. Maybe I'm just a kid in love. Oh baby, if this is what I'm going to do, I never want to grow up. Okay, chord breakdown time. It is G, four finger G. And uh, you'll see an ultimate guitar as well be broken down too. Then it's G with the B bass, which is A string down. So he goes, Maybe I'm just a kid in love. Then C add nine, which is your four finger G. Move those two fingers down a string. Maybe I'm just a kid in G, oh baby D. If this isn't enough, E minor in love, then C don't want to grow up. Now with these, we just have to watch out for one or two little things. Um, basically it's the rhythm, excuse me, come down with the cold, maybe, who knows. So. It's this sort of anticipation of rhythm, so it goes down, up, down, and on that down, I'm snapping against the string, so I'm kind of muting down, up, snap, down, and okay, you might be going, hey Dave, how do I snap? So, here's the deal. You bring your hand in towards the strings. Be very, very careful. <laughs> this can hurt if you do it wrong or too hard. Okay, so we get. Ow, did that one too hard? Okay, so. So down, up, slap, down, down, slap. Okay, so on the next chord, we get G with the B bass, and we go down, and on the next down, I hit the thick, the root note of the chord. Down, down, snap, or slap. I keep saying snap or slap. Same effect though. Down, up, slap, down, root, snap. Now watch, it's gonna be the same thing with the pairing of C add nine back to G. Down, up, snap, down, root, snap. So that's the rhythm to pair each group of chords. We do that with G to G with the B bass, C add nine to G. We do it with D to E minor, then we do it with C to G. So watch me do D to E minor. Down, up, snap, down, down, snap. Down, up, snap, down, down, snap. Then it goes. And that is it. So like, I don't ever want to grow up. Oh, nice little fill here as well. This really reminds me of John Mayer. Big shout out to John Mayer. Man, I love to meet John Mayer. So, fifth fret on, <laughs> make it happen people. Uh, fifth fret on the E string. Seventh fret on the E string. Hammer that on. Hammer on basically being bring this finger in. Fifth fret on the A string. You will notice I'm using my pick now with fingers. Eh, I would vary between the two, like, I like using my fingers for the start, uh, but for the, maybe I'm just a kid in love, maybe I'm, yeah. I like the snap that gives. So I'd use a mix of both, perhaps keep it on you there, or keep it up here or someplace close. And, just to double check this, oh yeah, so. The only thing I'm going to say there, the bridge is the same chords as the chorus. Uh, 
and that is the whole song. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Cool, hope you found that of value. Some nice little picking bits in there. And as I said, the tab is available to download below. So I think that's about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you soon.